I first discovered Blizzard games when I was 13. I was young as hell. Warcraft 1 for me. Oh, you're old. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> I've been a gamer since childhood, before I could even spell. My parents promoted a culture of video game love, and I am a product of that culture. Kind of been something we've been doing since we were little kids. You know, just, just to spend time together. The person who drew me to it was my dad. He'd scoop me up and put me in his lap, and he'd have me read his combat logs. <laughs> WoW is certainly my jam. I'm currently Alliance. 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 Horde. For the Horde! For the Horde! Diablo. Diablo 3. StarCraft was kind of the thing we could get into. And it's our Super Bowl. I'm a Grandmaster player in Heroes of the Storm. So I started playing Hearthstone, and then it was like I was pulling over my car to play a match of Hearthstone. He's the first one who played Overwatch. That's true. Everybody has a story around the games. Without Blizzard, my whole high school experience would have been completely different. I made friends for life playing StarCraft 2. We met in World of Warcraft. Playing Heroes of the Storm professionally has really been a life-changing experience for me. When I first started playing Blizzard games, in the Navy. You know, it was a good way of just kind of unwinding. Games define me, like, almost entirely. Torin, Bear Druid for life. My only tattoo is on my, my right arm right here. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like. A Blizzard gamer could look like anything, anyone. I don't date bronze players. <laughs> Blizzard is like an open, inclusive, positive, wonderful community. You're playing with millions of other people around the world. Uh, I'm from a super small town in Germany called Lübenau. My sister and I, since she moved to Italy, we started the tradition of playing Heroes of the Storm in Christmas skins. If I'm playing with my mom, it's kind of like taking a stroll down the beach together, except we're in World of Warcraft. Your friends are global. Germany, France, Spain. <laughs> Hi, Mom, my dad. <laughs> it's obviously a, a community or even a family. They're there to like connect with you. You know, emotional support if you need it. Our son, who's seven, he's a massive uh, Warcraft fan. He came to BlizzCon last year. He's fully dressed as King Lane. He was very shy, but when everybody gathered around him, giving him high fives, really got him out of his shell that, that whole day. We lived in different states, and at night we would get together and kind of crawl through dungeons. Playing Diablo every day, playing Overwatch every day really brought, brought us closer as sisters. My father taught me how to play video games. That was our time, and when I was a teenager, I lost him suddenly. To keep his memory alive, I kept playing video games. It was the only way I could keep him close. These are games that I sh shared with my wife and now that I share with my kids. It feels like a family within a family. That's been such an amazing thing to see how many people have learned from games, how many people have connected from games. And when you look at BlizzCon, it even transcends the games themselves. Because it's become the place that I see all of my friends and I share all those experiences. Last BlizzCon, so last year, he proposed to me by the orc statue. The horde symbols on the side. And I said yes. The couple that plays together is the couple that stays together. This year will be my first time attending BlizzCon. You will bleed Blizzard blue for the rest of your life. When you see someone who is another Overwatch cosplayer or something like that, it's like, oh! It gives me the opportunity to be a little wilder than I normally would be. It brings together a wide range of people uh, that you normally wouldn't see together. Like a big-ass family. Blizzard is friends. Friends. Friendship. Friendship. Community. Generations. Blizzard brings people together. 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 Family. Family. It's such a family thing for us. There's always people that are as excited and passionate about it as you are. The connections that you make in the Blizzard community are lifelong connections. And they always will be there. Games and people together. It's awesome to feel like you're really part of a huge community. You really do feel like you belong. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO of Blizzard Entertainment, Mike Morai! Hello, BlizzCon! Is the Alliance here? How about the Horde? Heroes of Sanctuary. Yeah. Heroes of the Storm. Yeah. How about my Heroes of Overwatch? Yeah. All of you, welcome to BlizzCon 2017. It feels so good to be back at BlizzCon. Okay, I'm going to keep with tradition and ask, how many of you here are attending BlizzCon for the very first time? And how many of you have been to BlizzCon before? Yeah. How many of you have been to at least five BlizzCons? Yeah. 
Well, I am grateful to be back. Thank you for being here and choosing to spend the next two days with us. I still can't believe it, but this is our 11th BlizzCon. That's right. This one goes to 11. This is our biggest show yet. We have more panels, games, activities, tournaments, and the most attendees of any BlizzCon ever. There are more than 30,000 of you here in Anaheim, and millions more are tuning in from home. Once again, we have taken over the entire convention center. There is even a brand new building, and we've taken over that as well. In fact, some of you are watching the opening ceremony from there. Let's give them a big shout of hello. Hello! We have some of our new game content there. We also have Hearthstone Esports, the Hearthstone Tavern, and much more over there. Just head towards Hall A, go upstairs, and you'll see the signs. You really have to check it out. So, we have changed up the opening ceremony. Many of you are here with me in Hall D, but thousands of you are watching from across the convention center, in the arena, and as I mentioned, in the new building. In addition to this stage, we will have developers join in and showcase their announcements from a few different stages across the convention center. So we're trying something new this year. Let's hope it works. <laughs> we have come from far and wide. All 50 states and more than 50 different countries are represented here at BlizzCon. And people from more than 170 countries are tuning in through the virtual ticket. But no matter who we are or where we're from, we are all here for the same reasons. We have a shared love of games and their stories and characters. And most of all, we're here because of the relationships we've built and fostered through gaming. I am very honored to have been part of this community and to have watched it grow. This year, the Blizzard community is bigger than ever, with over 40 million players logging in each month across all of our games. All right, a ton has happened in the past year. In World of Warcraft, we went all the way to Argus on our quest to save Azeroth. In Hearthstone, we traveled from Gadgetzen to Angoro and even returned as Death Knights across, atop the Frozen Throne. We raised the dead, again, with the Necromancer in Diablo 3. And we went into battle with awesome new heroes and maps in Overwatch, Heroes of the Storm, and StarCraft II. We also renewed our passion for a classic Blizzard game, with StarCraft Remastered. And this past week, for the first time ever, we welcomed a non-Blizzard game onto the Battle.net platform with Destiny 2. Do we have any Guardians out there? Now let's talk about eSports. Last BlizzCon, we unveiled plans for our most ambitious project yet in competitive gaming, the Overwatch League. Since then, we have partnered up with a dynamic array of leaders from both esports and traditional sports. And our first season will include 12 teams based in cities around the world. We'll be broadcasting the first season out of the new state-of-the-art studio, Blizzard Arena Los Angeles. The new Blizzard Arena will be a place that we can come together to witness exciting moments and memories in Overwatch and other Blizzard esports all year round. It's awesome. This has been an amazing year with a ton of esports action. Let's take a look, at, a look at some of the highlights. the happiest man in the room. He is your global champion. Dazzling days of Hearthstones in Shanghai. Look at that spring. It's a spring champion. 
Welcome to LA. South Korea takes its rightful place in Hearthstone Esports. And China looks like they will just have a cakewalk here on the run. The hometown heroes of Australia. We're in overtime, 99, 99. There it is. What a performance. Poland, the home team taken on South Korea from Jae-Hong taking him out of the fight and South Korea takes it. The road to the World Cup Championship, Team USA going against Team Germany. The melee just in time and the US, they've done it. They are going to BlizzCon. Lunatic High, twice, twice in a row, back to back championships. And they start a dynasty. This is just the beginning of the action live from the Blizzard Arena. Massive congratulations to Giganti. It is time for the grand final. This be goes in, and this could be game. This is dignitas. One final map here for the world championship. It is champion. Pops off. Fnatic has done it. The time has come. MVP Black versus L5. L5. They will be your Eastern Clash champions. UT Arlington never stopped believing. They are your heroes. gets my control to a terrible position. Method Synergy is the best team in North America. Bad to global are going to BlizzCon. I am Katvita gives us some of the best StarCraft that we will ever see. And that is G -G. And now the GSL's finals. Stats has done it. Gumiho has forced history to repeat itself. Animation GSL bonus champion. BlizzCon is loaded with esports. The Hearthstone Invitational has 12 of your favorite pros and streamers competing as teams in a set of challenges. The Overwatch World Cup will have the top countries in the world battling for the gold medal. If you're looking for champ world championship events, we've got those too. The World, the world of Warcraft Arena World Championship, the Heroes Global Championship Finals, and the StarCraft II WCS Global Finals will all crown world champions who have earned their place after, after a year's worth of competition. We're also hosting a thrilling exhibition match for StarCraft Remastered, featuring two legendary players, Bisu and Jadong. And this year, we've built brand new stages for World of Warcraft, Overwatch, and StarCraft II. Speaking of StarCraft II esports, Intel announced this morning that they will host a tournament in Pyeongchang leading into the Winter Games. This tournament will feature StarCraft II. This is an amazing honor for the game and wonderful recognition for esports. We're very proud to be part of it. We've got some cool StarCraft II game updates to share with you as well. The newest co-op commander in the game is actually two characters in one, Mira Han and Matt Horner. We're, we're showcasing them here at BlizzCon along with a new co-op mission called Part and Parcel. That's playable in the StarCraft area in Hall A, so go check it out. And there's another thing I want to mention about StarCraft II. You have helped make it one of the best-selling highest rated PC games in history, and your support is why we continue to create new content for it. We are always looking for ways to help you get new friends into the game and bring old friends back as well. So I'm very excited to announce that we're making StarCraft II free to play.
Starting on November 14th, everyone will get the full Wings of Liberty campaign. And if you already own Wings of Liberty, we're going to give you Heart of the Swarm. In addition, everyone will get access to the full StarCraft II ranked ladder. And we're also improving co-op mode with free access to every co-op commander in the game up to level 5. For more details, be sure to check out the StarCraft II panel in the North Hall today or visit StarCraft2.com. We have more to announce this morning, but I want to take a moment. BlizzCon isn't only about the games and the announcements. It's also about the relationships we create and strengthen when we come together. I continue to be amazed at the incredible stories people share of friendships and strong connections that have grown through our love for gaming. There are no strangers at BlizzCon, only friends you haven't met yet. This is the most incredible family reunion in the world. Our community has grown tremendously over the last few years, and we're welcoming in a lot of new people into our family. I encourage you to welcome them online, and especially here at the show. Let's show them what a special community this is, a community of shared values and shared passions. There's a lot of craziness out in the world, but we don't have to let that be part of our world. If we make an effort to be kind and welcoming to people in our games and in our community, we will make a positive impact. And that positivity will trickle back out into the wider world. A friend of mine once said, never accept the world as it appears to be. Dare to see it for what it could be. All right, everyone. We've got a really great event planned for you. Blizzard employees are looking forward to connecting with you throughout the show. Look for us in the blue shirts. We have the awesome community contest tonight, hosted by Chris Hardwick. And tomorrow, Muse will be here. We have a lot more news to share, so I'm going to hand it off to K.O. Milker, from the Heroes of the Storm team.